close-up is brought to you by the Kia Sorento R. Redefining the power of Kia. Do kindergarten kids really need an iPad? Is this proof that things have gone nuts? Or do we need to wake up to what technology offers and embrace it as early as possible? That's certainly the approach at a Wellington kindergarten, and yes, they believe the kids really do need an iPad. Matt McLean with Technology for Toddlers. In 2012, there are the classics. And then... Welcome to the future of daycare. They really enjoy it, and they seem to get a lot out of it. It's 10am at Wellington City Kids Child Care Centre. Hannah, as always, is into the face paint. <laughs> Jarvis is learning to count. <laughs> Mika is pretty chuffed with himself. And inside, Rupert has got first dibs on the iPad. Can you go take it and sit on the couch? Rowan Howells taught here for three and a half years now, and over Christmas, she had a brainwave. And I started playing with a friend's iPad, and I sort of saw the potential for using it in our centre. She pitched the idea, the parents loved it, and two days later, the centre forked out for one. There's some really good basic literacy and numeracy games or applications. It's just kind of natural. It just blossoms their brains. So we've got one boy that was using it the other day and pointed out a whole lot of sevens to me, and then he went off and found some sevens in other areas. They're quick to point out, though, that the iPad isn't an all-day, everyday thing. We do monitor it. We monitor how long the children are using it. We put it away if need be. We, um, we get it out when we want it and when we think it's appropriate. Um, so there's, there's no risk of them spending the entire day sitting there looking at a screen. Um, and I guess it's not like you've got an iPad for every kid here. Absolutely not. We've got one and it is shared between 25 children every day. So they're learning a lot about turn taking at the same time. Libby Carson drops four-year-old Charlie off at City Kids three days a week. I think that's amazing, eh? Like these kids, these are, this is our future looking at us down here. And uh, they need to learn at some point and early adoption of technology like that is going to be just so influential on their future for them. That's, this is the way of their future. She was dubious initially but is amazed at how much Charlie has actually learnt. It really hunts out like kind of the strategic games, so learning how to solve problems and things like that, and it's something that he elects to do. Although the only thing I was thinking was it's a lot more expensive to now buy Charlie an iPad for Christmas rather than Lego, which he used to play with, That's I'm right. assuming. <laughs> That's right. But well, interestingly, like, you know, he loves doing all that interactive physical Lego stuff and going out and riding bikes and doing all that, so the iPad doesn't really dominate his life. But is Kindy too young for an iPad? Not according to this woman, Tara Fagan has researched the impact of technology on toddlers. It is an exciting time. I think um, the technology that we have available to us today makes a big difference for how our children can learn. What we're seeing is that children are going to be able to create, collaborate and connect with others in ways that haven't happened before and I think that particularly is one of the powerful reasons for using a mobile device such as an iPad, creating their own stories that have meaning and purpose for them, using their own artwork, their own words, and often they're collaborating with others alongside. But not everyone thinks it's a good idea. As the children don't need those tools, they need to experience the real world, and they need to be using their bodies and using their abilities to associate with real people. The Steiner School's philosophy is around the role of imagination in learning and pushes the idea of creativity. They are such a big part of adult lives now and it's almost a Victorian idea that children are like many adults. So what's good for an adult is good for a child and it's not actually the case. But back at City Kids, Charlie's mum Libby says kids and parents are learning together. Are you figuring out how to use the iPad now? I'm hopeless. <laughs> and ironically, if I have a problem with it, Charlie comes and helps me out, which is really <laughs> sad. It is, after all, 2012. 
And tomorrow night, we're going to look at how kids learn when we take the digital toys away. But what do you think about this idea of iPads and kindies? Go to our website or email us at closeup at tvnz.co.nz or like us on 